All right. Um, thank, oh, thanks so much, Elizabeth, and thank you so much. We're really honored and excited to be chosen for the uh, uh, you know, Innovation Award. And what we're going to talk about today, uh, both my sister and I, so my name's Tom Richards, my sister Carrie Richards is, okay. is on with us, and we're going to kind of go back and forth as we talk about um, our, our uh, software solution that we call Harvest Path. Um, um, so with that, I'm going to hand it over to Carrie real quick, and we're going to play a video. We have 6,500 acres. We have probably holistically grazed just under a thousand of it. Uh, since we have focused more on ranching regeneratively, the pastures and the riparian areas seem to be healing themselves. The soil's taking on more water, holding more water, and we don't have irrigation. So seeing all this wavy grass in almost July is so exciting. I'm really trying all the stops to get the animals themselves to be more resilient and the land itself. And I think it, obviously it's all connected. The principles that we are focusing on on our grazing plan, consolidating the animals, so more animals in a smaller area. Densing them up to about 50 animals per acre. They are gonna dung in urine, which is gonna fertilize. Take half and then they trample half, so it could go back into the soil bring in the sheep right behind the cattle. If you're moving them through the pasture quick enough, you can break the parasite cycle. We want to make sure to give our pastures the right amount of rest. We don't want to go back in too soon and overgraze. I'm excited to be a part of a business selling meat that I would feed my family any day of the week. I would tell other families to buy it and I can stand behind it wholeheartedly. And now that I know more about soil and that I can use my animals to actually improve the soil and not like cause further harm to the earth. I feel like I have found exactly where I need to be. Oh yeah, if you could go to the next slide, that'd be awesome. Well, thank you everybody. That was just a little video kind of about our business and how we operate on our ranch. Um, the software that we've developed, basically um, we started it because of our certifications and we needed to track those animals and we need to make sure that they were being fed only grass and we had to be able to prove that to our certifiers when we first joined uh, American Grass Fed back in 2012. So. That was the original reason why we started Harvest Path was so that we could prove um, to those that we were selling to that we were practicing uh, what we preached. And um, so anyway, it started there. And then eventually we moved on to taking on the uh, land to market verification, which does um, water infiltration and carbon measurements on a yearly basis. And so now we are using our software system to track animals that are also from that um, certification so that we can make sure everybody that we buy from is following the rules um, of these two certifications, as well as we're gonna start uh, tracking our data that we get from uh, Land and Market as well. You can go to the next slide. <laughs> so, um... So that's how we got started with, or the reason we kind of started trying to figure out how to track all of these records. And, you know, instead of doing it the traditional way of, you know, a piece of paper nailed to the uh, barn door, we, we decided to, to do, you know, to create our own technology because there really wasn't anything out there. And what we first started with was tracking animal records, was all of the birth records, tagging, you know, grouping them into herds, locations, audits, you know, all these kinds of things. Once we really started to get a handle on that, we realized we had to kind of move to the next step, which was when it's time to harvest them, you know, how do we group them? How do we track the whole harvest process, you know, all the way from, from shipping to the actual harvest to the yields? 
and all those kinds of things. And then all of a sudden, once we had done that, we realized, wow, you know, we should track inventory. And so we kind of just went, we just kept going through the entire process until we had created, you know, a single application that tracks all of these things that you can see um, on the slide here. So, so in addition to the animals and harvests, we do all of our inventory, all of our sales. Um, we also track any further fabrication. So any, you know, creation of bricks or other CPG related products. The best thing, um, in my opinion, about what we've done is actually at the end of the day, the reporting, because when we really want to figure out what's going on, we're able to run all sorts of reports and dashboards and, and look at the data in, in so many different ways, which really helps us uh, do analysis on the business. And so um, it's been very helpful for our business. And then we're actually going to be doing some more things too, which I'll let um, Carrie talk about really quick on the coming soon. <laughs> yeah, so on the ranch side, I track the animals um, as well as other animals that we have on other properties. And so the feature I use the most is the herd membership um, because there's different categories of animals. You have calves, you have mother cows, you have finishers. So I track them all in herds and make sure um, to track the supplementation for each herd and the location and the costs that are associated with each herd group. So that's been really helpful for me. It's a lot of data, I realize. Um, and I've been using less and less of the individual animal data and more of the herd data because we are growing. Um, but all that individual animal data is in there. So this is just a little screenshot of what an individual animal uh, data sheet looks like. And it's just part of it. And then what a herd membership looks like. So this animal was a part of the finishing herd and they were rounded up on a couple different dates and then they were given these vaccinations. So um, it's a really helpful tool on the ranch side. Okay, you can go to the next slide. <laughs> okay, and then just a little bit more, actually go, if you can go back one slide real quick. I was just gonna talk a little bit more about, whoops, the other direction. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. 18, there you go. Perfect. Um, so yeah, I just want to talk a little bit about um, the harvest process, right? So, um, you know, what we, we, we enabled was a way to put to group, uh, to create groups of animals and basically attach them to a, a data object that we call a harvest or a harvest lot. And then at the, what's really beneficial about that is we're able to see the individual animal yields but we'll also be able to roll that up at kind of a harvest lot level to see things like average carcass weight, you know, um, the yields, not just in terms of from the live animal to the box beef, but also to from live to, or sort of live to carcass, but also live to box beef. And then we're able to translate that all the way down to individual products, individual pricing, individual cost per product. So the harvest lot, you know, is connected to the inventory item and that's connected to the costing and pricing and the products. And so th this was probably the, the most complicated piece that we built, but, um, but it's been the, the most invaluable in terms of the data that it provides to us. And then uh, if you can go to the next slide, Elizabeth. So this is just a, a sample of some dashboard or, or a dashboard that we created and this was really um, to track um, harvest yields. And so, you know, numbers of cattle, average live weight, um, average price, you know, all these different kinds of things, as well as numbers from each ranch. And then, and this is just a sample. We have, we have probably a hundred dashboards that we use on a daily basis to track everything from yields and sales and uh, product uh, inventory issues and things like that. So um, it's been very, very helpful. And then we'll go to the, I think this is our last slide. And so just to give you a very simple idea of the, the pieces of the supply chain that, that we've created, the green uh, bars here is the stuff that 
um, that we built inside of uh, our application. And, I, and if I didn't mention this, we built this on the Salesforce platform. And um, so the animals and stuff you heard Carrie talk about, the harvest lot process I spoke about, um, there's a portion of that once it gets to the processor that we, that we lose a little bit of transparency, but we track that manually. And then the distribution and sales, and then on the other end, on the beginning end, um, the part we're working on now is the soil piece and the ability to track individual pastures, soil um, uh, test sites, and then you know mapping of that, and then how that passes into the animal, which passes into the end product. And then um, on the end side is like delivery and all those kinds of things, which we have not done. And we rely on other, um, uh, capabilities to do that. Um, so this kind of gives you a, a single picture of, of what we've done um, in, in total. And then yeah, in the spare time that we have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited about the soil piece. Um, I don't, you know, know how many farmers and ranchers there are here on this call, but um, when you get those awesome sheets um, from different people that do the measuring for you, or if you do it yourself, sometimes it's hard to think of like, okay, how do I take this data and then explain it to our customers? So the, the new soil piece that we're trying to add, I'm really excited about. And then we just, we threw this slide in there, um, you know, talking about how regenerative is a food trend. And with our software, we're able to track all of our animals coming from all the different ranches that are EOV certified. And so we were able to take advantage of that new market trend that um, everyone's really excited about, but we obviously don't wanna greenwash and we wanna make sure that like everybody is still um, excited about it moving forward and wanting to use their animals to take care of the earth. So um, thank you. And if there's any questions, just let us know. And hopefully that was an exciting software presentation. <laughs> <laughs> awesome thank you to you both that was great um yeah and just congratulations again on being our winner for the most innovative software uh all right moving